Yeah, we're seeing uh, some of these blips of red and yellow. These are thunderstorms up in Worcester and over the border in Connecticut. Locally, we don't have any rain or thunder yet. We do expect some for this evening now. It's summertime. It's a Friday evening. A lot of fun stuff, fairs and festivals and things like that. I don't see every community getting a storm, but the risk is there. And, and it's not raining every hour of the night, but uh, the chance is there. So a lot to kind of unravel here. Let's first uh, start with Doppler radar. And notice locally, we don't see these blips uh, up in our area, at least not yet. But here's the Connecticut Rhode Island border. One slow moving strong thunderstorm, which prompted a flash flood warning for Hartford right in here. Downpours, uh, a lot of lightning. Now, this is the Connecticut Rhode Island border. If you're watching us from Killingly, Putnam, Thompson, Connecticut, we're going to watch this storm very closely. You can probably hear the thunder off in the distance. This is tracking north and east. So the area to watch next 60 to 90 minutes would naturally be uh, northeast Connecticut. But even like this, the western portions of this is um, Route 6 and Route 44, you know, Foster, Gloucester, Barville, up in here, we'll keep a close eye on this. If anything, at least some downpours and, and some potential lightning. Uh, another area of some strong storms just uh, north of the Mass Pike. Yeah, there's a few more actually towards uh, Long Island Sound that may be approaching Groton, New London. So this is why we're in a weather alert to kind of give you a heads up of some potential showers and, and thunderstorms and some lightning as well uh, through at least the midnight hour. You can see dark skies off in the distance in Lincoln uh, and quite simply it's dry in Lincoln but to the north and west you are seeing some of the thunderstorms off in the distance. They they tower so high up in the sky that you can see them uh, far out on the horizon. It's in the mid and upper 70s that includes 75 in Providence. So evening uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms. A few may be strong from about 5 p.m. until midnight. Now it is not raining and thundering this entire seven hour period. This is just the window of opportunity, if you will. And again, not all spots will see one. Nice weekend, and I think we deserve it. Clearing Saturday morning, gorgeous Saturday afternoon, even better on Sunday. The humidity will be dropping on Sunday as well. So this blue line is a cold front. We're waiting on the arrival of this until this completely clears the area, and this may not happen until later tonight, that chance of a scattered shower or a thunderstorm this evening. Behind the front, the air is dry and refreshing, and that belongs to us for the weekend. Lightning tracker is active just off to our west. Now, this particular map uh, doesn't necessarily show the chance of thunder, but rather the chance for severe thunder. It's on a scale on a level from one to five. So level two out in Connecticut and just kind of a level one here in Rhode Island, which is marginal. And then thunder in southeastern Mass, but probably the risk is, is pretty low for severe weather. So bottom line, some storms may be a little, little robust. So for this evening and into the overnight hours, you can see as the front comes through, even as late as midnight, a scattered shower or thunderstorm. All of this, though, is pushing offshore by tomorrow morning. We'll start with clouds early, increasing sunshine. Nice day, especially during the afternoon. This is 1 o'clock. Here we are, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And tomorrow evening looking okay. Maybe a shower out towards Plymouth, but our area uh, will stay dry. So for this evening, again, it's not in every town and community, but the chance is there of that scattered shower or thunderstorm. Seven-day forecast. Overall, our weekend weather is improving. Uh, especially Saturday afternoon and right on through uh, Sunday. The beaches look great this weekend. The most sunshine on Saturday would be during the afternoon. Lots of sunshine at the beach on Sunday. And of course, full forecast coming up in just a little bit. Thanks, Tony. All right, so the race to develop a flying taxi is a high stakes competition with startups around the globe. But as Ian Lee tells us, a German company says its all electric version will help not just commuters, but the environment as well. German company Lil.